I would assume if you come in partway through stream, you're just seeing sections of a process of something being created. So like any, create, like any creative process, I would say it's much like watching a painting coming to life or a sculpture, which you can also create. But with makeup, it's really interesting because it's almost a one-off. It's from start to finish in a stream, you're gonna see something be created and brought to life. So for me, a lot of times it's characters and creatures or a whole Bob Ross painting on your face. <laughs> I mean, honestly, when people ask me what I do, most of the time I say I run an esports team because it's easier to explain what that is than say that you're like a, a, a content creator or a streamer. Um, so it's easy to say like, I run an esports team. It's somewhat similar to running like a sports team, just that it's in gaming. So that's normally what I say to people. Um, otherwise, yeah, you have to go down the content creator route. It's not, these kind of questions normally come up, up actually when you're entering like do security at like the airports or something, right? But like, why are you here like in the US? What do you do for a living? And that's when you have to try and like explain it a little bit, yeah. Uh, well, I just say, yeah, I play video games for a living. It's like running your own business and uh, there's a lot of things to think about. It's not just press record and, or press play and start streaming and then you sit there for a couple of hours. It takes a lot of work. There's accounting, there's all the preparations and also I work with Save the Children as a gaming consultant. So obviously there's a lot of work there as well as it's a full-time position, um, but it goes hand in hand with gaming. Um, a lot of the time I explain it's a bit like YouTube, but it's completely live. I explain that it's very much, um, the interactivity is so much better. Because I'm doing something which is very educational, it's so easy for somebody, um, for instance, in a lot of the Instagram community who also like makeup and body art, to come in and ask me a question and say, how did you do the shading on the fabric folds? Can you teach me about that? And I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll add another fabric fold in here so I can teach you how to do it. Or for so instance, people who want to say like, how do you paint something to look like it's metal, then it's so easy. And before people used to think that um, I did a lot of makeup artistry, I was a makeup artist, they, they think all these things. I'm just a graphic designer and quite frankly, I, it's my creative outlet and I'm just so happy that I have a space on Twitch to do it. Um, but pretty much I just went for it. I'm completely self-taught and I'm really happy with the way it's all turned out. Well, the, generally when I try to explain what I do, I've learned, I have to say, I play video games for a living. Uh, I can't say I'm like an entertainer because their imaginations run a little wild, but you know, video games. To someone that doesn't know what streaming is, I would say I have my, <laughs> depends how old they are, uh, if they're very old I'll tell them I have like a little TV channel um, and I have my little audience that I can talk to and they support me and I, I try to be entertaining and have my own show, that's, that's what I explain. Um, so a lot of times when I'm streaming body paint and I'll be painting, say I'm being a red devil and I'll paint my entire shoulders and face red, a lot of people ask, oh, well, do you go out after that? Do you go to the grocery store? No. <laughs> I sit in my house and eat chips. Like, <laughs> I take photos and then I'm done. Like, a lot of the creative makeup is for me and then I document it and then the beauty of it is that it never lasts. It's that I do the makeup and then it's done. I take pictures and then... I try to paint a picture that I'm a, I just, you know, play games, but also try to be entertaining for people who watch. So I'm like a, like a TV channel. That's like the thing that they typically understand when they don't know anything about streaming, about the gaming culture. It's like, oh, you know what? I have like a TV channel on a platform that you can watch on the internet. And they're like, oh, well, that kind of makes sense. But when you tell them, oh, I play games for a living and, you know, people pay to watch me, I'll be like, kind of makes no sense for them, you know? Yeah. That kind of depends on who I am explaining it to. A lot of my friends have no interest in streaming, so I have to like describe what streaming is to them first. But I think coming, coming somewhere like here is a lot easier to describe because I think a lot of people have the same pain points with uh, learning to live stream and growing their streams. So it's easy to describe that I just create content to try and help people uh, in their streaming journeys.